Yeah, I'm live. Now let's navigate to the place where I can see my actual screen. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. Well. Put that away for the moment. Um, that's that is a paid for pattern, but I navigated up to the cover page, so I think it's okay. But um, so we're going on a field trip to the antique pattern library, which um, going on virtual field trips is something my friend um, that Vivian taught me how how to do with um, a lot of. Um, museums in y Europe especially have really good websites um, because they're they're funded well <laughs> and so it's fun to just go and tour things but um, but yeah the antique pattern library I, I put the link in the description um, that it's this um, website that has a bunch of old patterns of like crochet books and they, they might have other fiber stuff or sewing too but what I'm interested in is crochet of course and um but before that I just wanted to the, the, the reason I had that one pulled up <laughs> is because I wanted to show some of the those mosaic squares I've done I've done recently based on the rose pattern um I will pull this back written and designed by um Carol Ann Tuffo of um, um the kitty crochets F flora collection so I'm doing um I think this one, I think I recognize that one as the rose pattern in the top center there. <laughs> but, um, so I'm doing it in two versions, one slightly bigger than the other. And, and now, we, now we take this away again. Thanks, Rand. You can't really see, but like, since it's all in the same color, but I, I love black roses, so I thought, well, may as well just um, try this out in all black yarn. And this is with the 2.5 hook, which is really small, but this one is with a 1.5 hook. <laughs> it's with crochet thread, and you can't actually see the pattern here. So I'm, I'm going to use them to make. Um, in in place of the squares in the pattern for um um the um the um the winter nightmares granny square shorts pattern which i think is it's the one inspired by Be um the beetlejuice so like they they have squares that they do in the pattern but i i mostly just got it to see okay how would you construct a garment out of squares because for for me the hard thing is often garment cons construction so yeah that's um that's that's that and i finished my dragonfly square which is made made up made it made out of my own yarn <laughs> that i dyed I hope to do more of this colorway. I decided to call it um, the, um, the dragonfly, but so far that's 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 the only skein. Um, and in a minute we can get started on the field trip. But feel feel free to let me know how how you're doing and like what um, um what you're working on and stuff. So instead, we're going to
navigate to this tab. So the easiest way to get there is probably just type antique pattern library. I happen to do it in Bing because I'm on um, I guess a browser where that is the normal um, search engine. But it'll probably show up in um, Google too. <laughs> but it's antiquepatternlibrary.org and let me refresh this okay <laughs> now the entire browser isn't responding. Thanks. I don't know why I opened a new tab, so like, let me just go from this link. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, they have a lot of um, different crafts, it looks like. Even more than fiber, like they have Battenberg lace, beading, Berlin work, whatever that is, bobbin lace, book binding, calligraphy, carpentry, crochet, um, cross stitch, cut work, drawing, dressmaking, embroidered net, embroidery, fillet, fillet crochet, flower arranging, glass, as in glass blowing, I don't know, hardanger, Irish crochet, knitting, knotting, lace, knit, knitting, knotting, and arithmetic. <laughs> no. <laughs> knitting, knotting, lace, macrame, paper, point lace, quilting, ribbon work, sewing, tatting, tool embroidery, various for things that just didn't fit in one of the other categories, wax work, woodworking, and work basket magazine. That's cool. And then it says like who we are, conditions of use. Just gonna make sure that what I'm <laughs> that sharing this is um I think it's okay, but yeah. Um Okay, yeah, so this is a der um, derivative work. Um, so I have this open on another tab, but let me go ahead and see if I can find the book that I'm looking for here so we can see how to do it. Um, I think it's called Flower Edgings. Then it takes you to this version of Google that only searches this website. Let me check back in with chat. Okay, cool. Check back in with other chat. Okay, that, we, do, we don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, good. It's um, making sure that you can see the um, the thing on my screen. Let's click on more results. Nope. Okay. Let me go look at the other. I'm I'm going to try and find the the exact title. Flower edging sixty-five. Okay.
could also go back to the original page and click on crochet and just see if that takes me anywhere. Um, also maybe I can find in page hoping this is in um, roughly al alphabetical order, so I'm going to scroll down. <laughs> Sorry if this is dizzying. an adventure to find where that thing is because I would like to know how to find it um, on okay yeah that's the same question collections maybe Okay, this was donated by Judith Adele, so it might be under that name or collection. So, first scanning for Adele, just in case they did my last name. Get down to J. If it just doesn't work, I'll probably just put the um, exact link in so we can get started. But it is a bunch of, like, it, it is really cool to see all this. H-I-J-K, okay. This is um, under the name Judith Adele, so that's that's promising. Maybe this person donated a whole bunch of things. I um, I like this title, the um, exhibition book of crochet elegancy. That's, that's my vibe. I see a bunch of like 
number something books and this one that I'm looking for is number 65 so aha there it is yeah right there yay I found it so <laughs> yeah we we just search for Judith Adele or maybe Starbook 65 and then kind of follow the breadcrumbs for that okay and here's the um, Creative Commons li license so just so we know I think one of the prerequisites of me sharing this is to make sure that I let you know about the license it's under so like there's that and I believe this counts as a, der um, a, der um, a derivative work so um, or like trend um, what's the word trend transformational work so um, <laughs> <laughs> this this list is great. Um, handkerchiefs, tablecloths, towels, scarves, sheets, and cases. I, I guess for for pillows, and luncheon sets, but and my favorite, um, the lingerie. I don't often talk publicly about that, but I do crochet that sometimes. So anyway, so I guess this is like a companion book to the type of tatting or crochet thread that they that um that they're saying might be good to use like a lot of patterns nowadays have this um a, a lot of yarn companies now will be like here's some patterns to use with our yarn so i think that the, the japanese book that i was going from also like it's for a certain brand of crochet thread so um the lace work to lace work to any grand so that it's for the um the emmy grand brand of thread but this one looks like it's for star crochet cotton or gem crochet cotton then they, they also list um star tatting thread and then they have a, a few other types of crochet thread too but i don't know if any of these are still are like can still be bought because this this book is from let me check um well the copyright is 1949 so yeah <laughs> american thread company so this is where i've been getting some of the crochet um um flowers that i've been um, adapting for my short reel tutorials on um, Instagram. I've only done two of them so far, but um, I, I feel like they're a really nice source of something that is probably not known by a lot of crocheters and not like from, I, I didn't want to use content from a, like a, a list of, thr of um, um the um the lace stitches that I've done by that have been 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 assembled by a different person who like I um I um I wanted some kind of mine content from a from a place that isn't just one person trying trying to do business even if they're they're giving that for free so um but more more like an org that's trying to gather info like um, 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 a library or something like that. But I'd like to I'd like to do the periwinkle edging at some point, um, and or I guess th this one's the primrose. Yeah, I'm really more interested in the um, the arabis and primrose. So that's those two. Flower girl insertion, nice. 
So the, it's both edgings and insertions, which I don't know exactly how you'd use those, but um, maybe just... Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what that means in this context, but it looks a lot like just a little um, lace, lace applique or something. Or like if you have a hole in something, you could just fill it with lace and that could be a way of re um, repairing it. Or maybe like if it looks like this one is like a seam in between two sheets of um, <laughs> linen or, or something, which is not only like a useful way to combine two sheets of fabric, but it's it also makes it um, very fancy. So um, I I love the idea of just like taking like of um, um, repairing things that or or like in um 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 the embellishing them in ways that kind of use our own crafts and and make it feel really um, luxurious but but not having to s spend the money to do that so it, it feels kind of s s solar punk <laughs> um, the, um, the high woodshed theory um, 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 good to have you here Oh no. Um, let me know if you can see me scroll down or if it's just been stuck on this one. Um, can you see me scroll down? <laughs> Oh good. Yay. I was like, I've been talking about things on the screen, so hopefully you can see it. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you this um, one um, the butterfly insertion that is a little bit intense to do as a reel, because I think it, even just with pictures it would be too long, so um, you can you can watch like crochet or reacts to the first time they do <laughs> they do an actual they you you can you you can watch me actually do it for the first time <laughs> if you want um wrong skein of yarn Okay, yeah, I, I still have some of the Hobie um, Halloween Sparkle Universe, which I think this is Dark Matter. Um, it's, it's one of the colorways, so I decided I'm going to try um, doing the butterfly with that and kind of has that goth sparkly vibe that I want for this project. I have a family member who is also a spirit friend who reminds me of um, um, well her, her symbol that she likes is the um, the black butterfly, so it's kind of like goth and um, um, the, um, the whimsical, so that, that always makes, makes, makes me think of her. Now I'm looking for my hook, as one does. 
this this thing that I'm trying to work on every day, so I eventually finish it. Right, I just made a slip knot out of ha habit, so let's go find the um, butterfly insertion and hopefully that's what we do. Oh yeah, there she is. I'm going to make it, make it bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the actual thing. Um, and here's the pattern. Shaded yellows and green or colors um, um, desired. I'm just going to use this um, thread for the whole thing. So it it can be really confusing to interpret older patterns sometimes. So I'll I'll do my best like to walk us through it. <laughs> So with, so body with green, chain three, three DC and third stitch from hook, chain one, turn. Okay. That's actually written in a way that feels more modern like there was one stitch where it said first stitch from hook but it really meant like the seventh one or the the first stitch you made instead of the actual first one that's next to the hook which is what we would think of as the first stitch from hook i don't know if that was a typo or just like a different way of doing it in the past but i i changed that in my own in um instructions in the reel i did because i was like this is this confused me it's going to confuse other people too <laughs> so um how many have i done so far one two three four okay three vc and one um one set of chains so, it's pretty dark yarn, so you can't really see it. Was it like really tiny right now? So, but yeah, that's the, the start of start of the the body. And because I'm not sure if this was up here while we were showing the um, the picture. There, she's beautiful. So I guess we're doing like the center part looks like a lot of rows of um, the double crochet, and then the antennae and then the wings which I'm really ex excited about because lace I love lace if you if you haven't noticed I do love lace <laughs> I love lacy <laughs> my favorite show uh, anyway I barely watched I I Love Lucy, but like it was a it was a it was a good pun. So so second row after that, and this isn't like an official tutorial. It's more like me walking through this, and you can watch me and you know go find I I put the book in the dis um, description so that you can go and find the the exact thing. It's the butterfly insertion um, number 6514 and it's on page 8 of this book. So 
Um, right, one SC in each stitch. which is four total, as it helpfully tells us. Because the um, first double crochet is that chain, that, that set of chains, so I guess we just do it around the chain, because I, I don't like working in two chains. <laughs> but you, you definitely could work in the top chain. Um, chain one, turn, two, single crochet and first single crochet. So we're increasing now. One in each of the next two. So I guess we're just increasing on the edges. And then um, two in the next, yeah. I was assuming that anyway, but it's good to have that confirmed. Chain one, turn. Okay. <clears throat> one in each SC for the fourth row, and then I'm just going to chat with y'all for a while because we repeat the, the fourth row 13 times. We may not get to the, <laughs> the wing lace this time. Maybe if I crochet fast. Speed crochet. New. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. be a great time to have those stitch markers that I bought from Winter Nightmare or any stitch markers. I, I'm not I, I'm not saying that like Winter don't don't worry about um, like um, take your time to sending them to me. I'm just saying like I I should have planned to have a stitch marker. I'm realizing they they're actually more useful than I like, I actually can use them from time to time, so. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to... guess, more or less, how, how many um, rows I've done. So, I think that was one out of 14 total. <laughs> this is two. Feel free to shout which row I'm on if I forget, if people happen to be here. So like, this yarn has the Lurex strand, the um, sparkly metallic bit. I, I, I think that's, that's probably Lurex, so um, I keep not catching that along with the the regular yarn, so it it's not as bad bad as a usual split, but it kind of it's not ideal. And this is three. Maybe I'll try to crochet a bit looser because I'm having trouble getting my hook into the stitches and I that's s s slowing me down a bit. Four. So speaking of yarn, I have new yarn on my website. Thornwingcrochet.com. 
<laughs> five and I think now that I have like a good amount of stock at least for right now I'm like a for for a big um beginner I, I have an like a, a, a good amount to start with um now I'm like thinking about okay how can I get my my yarn out there to like spread the word I'm I realized I really need to be on Ravelry because that's where the people are and I, I'm also thinking about various fiber people that I watched that have a, a bigger audience than, than me and just like can I send them some yarn and say hey I like your stuff here's some yarn that I dyed and okay this one's six the like not I, I never want to assume but the the kind of unspoken thing seems to be that you kind of shout people out who have um, given you something and I would probably give it to people that I know often do that like hey this person gave me this cool stuff and um, like so for me, it it is that I want to give these people a gift, but also I'm like, well, I <laughs> I need eyes on my stuff, so <laughs> please show how much you you enjoy it. <laughs> so seven, we're halfway there. instantly in my brain I'm like whoa living on a prayer <laughs> what happened okay that was weird somehow pulled in an extra loop so or created a loop from the yarn so eight So remember that um, the f first three blue skeins that I got, that, that I dyed and that I've set aside on um, in, um, in, um, in, um, in the Inanna's altar, my goddess that I call Sun, Sun Mom. Um, and then I also bought one of the vault of vault of inana skeins for or from myself nine i finally realized what i'm going to do with them and i need one more color like a bright silvery white probably which i'm 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 going to do another order of dyes from dharma soon because i've i have figured out some colors I would like to have and like silvery gray is one of them so because like the, the yarn I get tends to be very the the berry yarns very it's like a very warm almost y y yellow tone which is nice but it's it's not like more of the cool white if I if I need that or like a gray some some of my colorways like I, I like to fade from black to gray so um, ten I believe so um, it's a little um, pickle <laughs> it's going to be a a butterfly body oh cool I put it over here you can kind of see through see the light through or possibly the sparkly bits. Yeah, it's 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 the light. Um, so what I think of butterfly bodies as pic um, pickles from now on because that's cute. I I guess thorax is the actual term <laughs> from my days as a a child being extremely into all kinds of in um, insects. 
11. So yeah, I, I figured out what I'm going to do with that yarn that I set aside. Um, I'm going to make a shawl cape thing that is based on a game that I um, I'm really into right now called Sky, Children of the Light. And I'm going to make myself a cape to um, of, of the type that the characters wear to um, fly with. So I, I need a pale yarn to do the stars down the back <laughs> to show how many wings. Not exactly like wings, but like the how many times you can boost before you have to re recharge your cape slash wing. So um, if I say like I have eight wings, like, it makes you think of like uh, I'm the biblical angel. <laughs> it's like, not exactly. <laughs> but um, it's such a cute game and very pagan in a way, in unexpected ways. I think this is 12. So we just have two more after this because I was counting from the first, so 14 total. Then I think we do the antennae and then the wings. Because as you might have seen, there are these. up for some reason. See, there are these swirly bits on the top. Okay, good. Now we see this swirly bits. And I was like, it, it doesn't always properly show the part I think I'm looking at. So I'll, I'll have to learn how this works, it's kind of. So I think this is 13. <laughs> oh, for a tiny y y yoga skeleton, which are the stitch markers I'm going to get soon. And of course, um, the, the capes in the game are pretty plain, or at least the, the one that I want to kind of recreate is, but I, uh, I of course have to do some lace, so I've decided since my in-game name has become um, Dragonfly, and I, uh, and I re recreated that fun um, Dragonfly pattern based on a, a picture that, that, that I saw that someone did on Instagram. I was like, well, yeah, I, I just want to do a cape with this pattern. And like, I, I couldn't find the pattern. I, I just saw a picture. So I was like, well, let me see if I can figure out what this person did. Their um, D crochet, D-E-E -E, crochet three, I think. So that's the dragonfly um, ins inspiration pick that I used. <laughs> and then I, I also want to kind of insert a granny lace, a, a granny square lace star down the center. So I, I've been thinking about how, how exactly I would construct it. And the body of the cape would be the three, um, first three skeins that I dyed because they're, they're a bit more light blue and then there'll be a, then I'll, I'll use the darker blue one for a a border at the edge. And unlike most triangle lace shawls, I'll have to do this um, top down, I think, because you start with the dragonfly heads and I want them to be facing up. Plus, like, 
that makes more sense with adding the border at the end. So we'll think about how to how to do that. Plus, I'm going to have it be like a kind of a um, rectangle bit that goes over my shoulders and kind of clasps, and then a bit that tapers off from that, like down my shoulders and gets wider at the bottom. So stay tuned, that'll be fun to um, work, um, work up and through. So right, how, how are we doing with this? Okay, so next row, after the the repeat we just did um, decrease one single crochet at the beginning and end of row until we have four. Okay, so SC two two together <clears throat> single crochet single crochet and then another SC two together. Oh that stitch is really tight. Okay. <clears throat> Chain two, turn. Thread over hook, insert in next SC, pull through and work off two loops. Are are they trying to tell me how to do a double crochet or? Okay, pull through, work off two loops. Repeat from the star twice. I'm gonna put this back on screen because like I'm on next row with the star right here after the chain two turn. Okay. I think I'm doing some kind of cluster here. There's a little bobble or something at the beginning of the antenna. So chain 28 for feeler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will be a very long antenna. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Insert hook in second stitch from hook. Okay. Pull loop through. Insert hook in next stitch from hook. Oh, so again, I'm doing a, a, a little bobble. Pull loop through, and then repeat twice more. Okay. So I think total that's four stitches I've done, and I have five loops on my hook, and I just pull through all of them at, the, at one time, which creates a nice little bubble at the end. So, very, very long antennae and a tiny bobble. 
and a larger bobble, or like at least a taller bobble down here. I think we'll need to like attach the feelers to something or else they'll just be like flopping around <laughs> or put wire in them or something. And then um, we break the thread. That's why I brought my scissors. Scissor. And attach thread in the same space on head and work another feeler in the same manner. So I think I'll just do this other um, feeler, as they call it, on the other side of the row. <laughs> and that's probably all we have time for. Hopefully we'll do the wings next time. So then we have like a little put, um, potato with hair. <laughs> so to so right chain two and then it was another one and then um, two more in our double crochet cluster which is basically what this is. I, I, I think they're just giving you with like specific instructions on how to do a double crochet cluster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay. And insert hook in second chain, pull through, then the chains got turned around, sort of, so I'm just going to insert it in the next one <laughs> after that. Um, so. And then two more after this, I also insert it through. Okay. Pull through five loops and a bobble. Hey, um, Sian and um, Lucino, let me know if I'm pronouncing your your name correctly. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is the butterfly so far. <laughs> no no wings yet, but we'll we'll get there. And the I I love these tiny baubles at the end of the antennae. We'll definitely have to. Um, like attach wire or something so they can pose. Or if, if you were doing this as an applique, you could just like um, stitch down the the, an, um, the antennae. Oh, good. It's a potate with eye stalks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So it'll grow into a beautiful butterfly. Probably this this Thursday. I unfortunately have to go because um, I only on our shared calendar I I only have the office for one hour. But not that anyone's probably raring to get in here. But still. Oh hi Winter. Yeah, good. Um, 
Um, yeah, thanks for um, stopping by. We we're on our antique pattern library field trip. So that's the pattern. I'm going to scroll up and show you the the picture. There, butterfly. Good. I'm I'm glad you were shopping for food. That is Im important. And this is everything except the wings so far. <laughs> So like not the iconic part of the butterfly, but just like the what we attach the wings to. <laughs> I was hoping for like fancy lace this time, but I, I guess we, we have to do the the base first. Thanks, and yeah, it is it is such a gorgeous pattern. Like that that's from the the flower edgings and in insertions book that I linked in the dis description. So, um, hairspray for the concert, yeah, of course. Oh, I was showing people that I, um, I did your, um, I'm, I'm working on granny squares for the, um, Beetlejuice granny square shorts pattern that I bought from you. Um, I'm, I'm not doing the, the square in the pattern, um, but I, I bought it for um, how, how does one construct a garment out of, out of squares, but um, I'm actually doing um, um, the mosaic squares from a different pattern and they're both the same pattern. This one is all in black because I I love um, um, the, um, the black roses, and I thought it'd, it'd be fun to do the pattern named Rose just in black um, as the main body of the shorts. And this was in 2.5 hook. And then I was like, you know, I really want to see the pattern, so I could just use, use this, some of my crochet thread. <laughs> the pattern is really pretty, but this one is 1.5 the um, hook size. So, thanks. Yeah, I I tell people that in <laughs> in the Ghoul Squad chat, and everyone is like, Thorn, how how can you do that? I'm like, well, I guess it's a superpower or something. Like I, um, it's definitely a um, co confidence boost when I'm doing something that people are like, how could you? I I could. Oh, but, oh, but I could never. So. Oh yeah, I I will definitely tag you um, when it's done. I will probably not be wearing it because for me it's actually a going to be um, a boxer pattern. <laughs> but I'll. I'll post and be like, oh, shorts, because that's all that people need need to know on, um, because <laughs> it, it, it is like, you, you know, it's, it's named shorts in the actual pattern, so, um, that, that's all, people don't, don't need to know why, why I'm, um, making it, but, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I know it's I, I I know it's exciting when when people actually make your patterns or like do things that you have or like use things that you've made. So, hi Vivian. Um, I learned how to share my screen so we can go on virtual field trips and see things like this. So I I just spent most of the time doing um, it it will have wings next time <laughs> nice yeah I I'm I realized when when I was at my parents house that I was like you know I I have my house pants that are technically um, they're marketed as, um, um, the PJ pants that 
but I'm like, well, I I find that they don't um, like they're really comfortable, and I I'm not worried about anything showing through. So like I I just wear them. So um, but I'm also like. I'm trying to figure out how, how TMI I want to be, but I'm just like, I, I'm try I'm in the process of trying to f f f figure out which and how much, like, undergarment type stuff I want to build back up into my wardrobe, because during the pandemic and, like, being in an unsafe place, I was just like, I can't bother. <laughs> but now I'm like, well, I could bother, maybe if I made some fun patterns like this so yeah <laughs> yay virtual field trips yeah um as i said in the description vivian is the one that taught me how to do um those because we would go on um we, we would visit the um the museum um the um the websites and like look at the um iron age um celtic collections and yeah, I I need more of that yarn next um, next Halloween too. <laughs> so yeah, I I think I should let you go. But thanks so, so much for having for um having me, for showing up and um, hanging out <laughs> and have have a goat day.